we're doing uh, bedtime stories, and this is the first time that we've done this event, and um, it's holiday themed this year. So do we read in our heads? And we thought it'd be a great idea to invite families in with their PJs and their favorite book to come and read a bedtime story to the animals in the shelter. So I found out on social media. So I saw it right away, signed up, and uh, went back and looked a couple hours later and it was full. So we're lucky that we, we got a couple of spots. Yeah. When the children went to, into the cottage, he sprinkled a magic po potion over the tree trunk and it came to life. It's a great opportunity for both the kids and the animals. Um, for the kids to come and read to someone who will not judge them and on their reading level and for the animals to have a little special and alone one-on-one -on -one time with kids too. Kai and Ketty soon came back out with a rope for the bur <laughs> brittle. Brattle. Brattle. I think there's a calming sense for the animals to have someone in front of them reading. They sat on, a, on the tree trunk and shouted, fly out into the world, dragon. They don't necessarily understand the words, but just having somebody have a calm presence, reading in a calm voice is, is pleasant to them. It, we would definitely sign up again. This was great. <laughs> and they got to be in their Christmas PJs outside in public too. <laughs> it's, so, <laughs> it's always a plus. <laughs> Kelly was too scared to make a sound. Kai said, to the land of long ago, please. Mm. I love ending on a sweet note.